Hello everyone, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now, in the last two episodes, we've been embroiled in a war with Arthur Gasparov, which has really taken all of my attention at the moment as he sends numerous airborne fleets on bombing runs and piecemeal ships to assault my various islands. However, we have finally turned the corner now towards victory with both the New World and Embesa under my full control, with most of Cape Trelawney as well. So today, the goal is going to be to take out anything left that's still producing ships or airships, and that includes Arthur's capital as well. We're going to be looking to wrap this thing up. So let's begin. So, no time has passed since the previous episode. We left off here in Tabarim in Embesa. Of course, please do watch the previous two episodes if you want to be fully caught up as to what's going on. But here we are in Embesa, full control, dealing with the remnants of Arthur's fleet. He's got five airships kicking around up here, and looks like he's got two more heading off map right now. Anyway, it looks like the lines of communication have been severed. Maybe they don't even know that all the islands are being lost. They're waiting for orders, and the orders aren't coming. But I'll tell you one thing that is coming, and it's me. <laughs> in this, With my fleet. <laughs> Alright, we're heading up. We're going to start basically just clearing out this area so we can get these airships out of here. So they don't have to all stay down here. There's actually three more airships heading here right now. Looks like they're after getting word of what's going on. We're just going to fly right into the middle of them, because if I was to attack them, we'd stay at their max range, and we don't want to do that. We want to get up in their faces. Start taking them down one by one. Go one by one, please. Looks like his little sister is after getting away. Alright, give chase too if you head off the other way. Perfect, and I'll give you a catch-up as to where our other fleets are now in just a moment, once we've, dealt with, once we've dealt with the problem here. Look at him flee! Just give up already, jeez. Alright, anyway, so yeah, these three fleets that are coming in here, or three airships, one of them should have some sea mines on them, and I'll probably leave them down here, although I want to bring them to the New World for a very good reason. Which I'll show just if we can take this goddamn SOB out. <laughs> he should be slower than us now. He's been hit a few times. Come on now. Now what about over here? Yeah, this one's pretty much done. And are we going against the wind? We basically are. Uh, get out of your groups. Shouldn't matter anyway, but... It's so frustrating, the way they do this. Are you carrying sea mines? Ah, you're the slow one, that's why. Alright, I guess we'll just leave that in the background. Eventually we'll get him, right? Bring these two down here somewhere. Oh, he's circling around. Mistakes have been made. I'm surprised, I know it's a smaller ship, but I'm surprised how fast it is, despite its health being down to a third. And it's against the wind, pretty much. It's kind of parallel to the wind, I guess, but, or perpendicular. Your ship has returned from its voyage. All right, there we go, fleet is returned. Oh, the airships are in. Okay, I didn't even notice, great. We'll just send them over that way. That guy is dealt with, so that means all of our airships now can be grouped up onto the same group. We're gonna move them to here. Tell them to stay in a group formation. And then once they're together in just a moment, we'll send them to the New World. So, to give you a sit rep as to what's going on globally, we have eight ships. The modern fleet, you know, the battle cruiser fleet, is heading north well, to the Arctic. As we know that Arthur is building his airships up there. We then have six or seven ships that are just entering Cape Trelawney right now. This is the old fleet, as they are the sailing ships. We have a Pyrphorian battle cruiser with them as well. They're pirates. One of them is a royal ship of the line, and then one of them is a pirate frigate. So, it's a perfect small little fleet. We can just maybe go over to this island right here, the 19th of May, and group up on them. What's their range? Range is right about there, so don't go any further than that just for a moment, please. And these airships are pretty much together now, right? Out with the old. He sunk one of my ships. I don't think so. Oh, in the old world. Speaking of the old world, actually. We have four battleships here, so I'm just going to move them down to the big island of Lusk. Because what we're going to be doing is gathering a lot of bombs for airships so we can bomb the crap out of this island. Arthur's Utopia has several defenses on the south, on the northwest, 
and the northeast. So it's it's a final boss battle, and he's got big beddies. He's got a big betty there, and I think he's got one over on this side. But weirdly, he doesn't actually have one in the bay itself. So maybe we'll go there first. I don't know. All right, don't worry about the ships that we lose. We'll get them all back in the future. Now, over in the New World, we've actually been bombed. I forgot to mention that, but we've been harassed and bombed multiple times, it seems like. But there is a timer on the island at minute 36. Don't see anything else coming for us right now. But this is probably the culprit. He's damaged. We did have a lot of flak in placements, but it's not good enough. Also, there is a little gathering of a battle cruiser, a frigate, and a ship of the line on the eastern part of the New World. And I'm a little worried about that because we've got very little defenses in the New World on most of our islands. So what we're going to do is go back to Mbesa, get our fleet here. Now that they're basically all together, send them to the New World, and we're going to put them on the edge, the island of Guadalmina. So they'll fly out of here. The island of Guadalmina is basically... Oh, Estepona would have been a good one, but it's basically... This little one? No? Oh, wow, it's further down than I thought. But they should come in from somewhere on the edge of the map. Maybe right above here if we get lucky. And then we'll just drop those sea mines right into this cluster if they don't move. Okay, so... How's the progress towards the Arctic? We're almost there, about halfway. Go back into Cape Trelawney and let's just focus on this fight. Let's go individual mode now. Just roll forward. Go with the wind. If you can. Moving to coordinates. Decent amount of defenses for such a small island. Alright, firing all their cannons over there. Just the absolute spam on that right there. Feels good, man. Do that for the far island or far defense as well, please. And then we'll go for the main base. And then we can just circle back to our big crown farms just to heal for a bit. Alright, I'm confident that'll do the trick. Do we need any more guns? I don't think so. There we go. GG. Um, yeah, stay in a group. I'm going to be a little slow playing with this. Just go up here, heal, and then we'll come back. All right, back to the New World. Are we in yet? Not yet. What about the Arctic? Exploring yet more islands. So our airships are about halfway there. We're about three quarters of the way to the Arctic. And that's basically everything that's going on right now. So we'll have a look really quickly in Manola and see how many bombs have we produced. 150 thereabouts. Okay. It's amazing, despite there's been no workforce really to do it. They're still trucking ahead. Only a fool loosens that grip. Still don't see where our fleet's gonna be coming in just yet. Maybe we could speed time up while we're just waiting in this menu, basically. Now once they get here, I'll probably bring some of the sea mines back and just station them in Embasa, just in case he brings in one or two fleets and we've got nothing else there to help. Defenses can be a little sparse in that location. Let's just speed up time again. I'm really hoping we see something coming in right here, but we'll keep this open as well, just in case. Still nothing. <laughs> there they are. Oh, they are coming down by Guadalmina. All right, we'll sail it. We'll sail, I guess. Air sail. Up this way, and we'll drop those sea mines. Now, who's the one carrying them? It's just you, actually. So you four can go after someone like that, maybe. And you won. Two of you, I guess. Can come up here and... Yeah, it looks like he's not moving. All right, so let's just do a drop run from here. Let's just start that again, actually. Open the hatch. Right there to there and just circle around, basically, and do it again. Looks like we've grouped up on the other dude as well. You can't just be sitting at the edge of a session waiting for me to do something, Arthur. Your ship has returned from its Nothing point. gets by me. Don't even try it. It's over. I don't even know if I need to bother doing this one more time, but I'm going to do it anyway, just to make sure. Although if it moves, I feel like it'll go down immediately. Oh, it's moving right now. I'll just wait. Right, so the other ships, there's still something over there, so go that way. Ready for action. Looks like he's avoiding them. Oh. Maybe, maybe not. 
Open the hatch. <laughs> the little movements he's doing. It's like he's looking up at me. Begin the drop. All right, that should be it, I think. Open the bay doors. Is that good enough? It looks like the other ones have dealt with something over there as well. All right, so Mr. C Mines, you're gonna head back to Embesa, Ready for orders. and the rest of you can stay here. Fleet on the move. All good. All good. Everyone's all good. Is this correct? I yeah, I guess so. All right. Put them all on number four, we're and we'll just send them up here to heal. They're going to go to the Arctic as well. So we've arrived in the Arctic. Let's get, grab our fleet. We're going to move them over this way. The first island we want to go for is the far right island, where he's making his airships. Doesn't have much defenses. He's got one defense there, actually. We'll just circle around this way first, though. So basically, that's us just going basically over there. Not too far. And then I've just left Stations. black monitors here to knock any airships out of the sky. Oh, stop with the workforce shortages. We'll be fine. So, our battleships have crested Lusk. Let's just get them ready over that way. Embesa is totally clear. This place is just, we're just healing up that fleet again in Cape Trelawney. We're just going to keep going island by island. He's only got two big ones and three small ones here. So I'm feeling pretty good. Let's just speed up time a little bit. Yep, these guys are healing just good. Not that they need it too badly anyway, but we'll send them north. None of them are carrying anything, which is good. So we'll just go straight to the Arctic nice and quick. Alright, get moving now. Look at them go. Over Manola. Pretty cool. Alrighty, to the Arctic then. These are so destroyed one of my buildings. Oh my god, that was so loud. Oh my god, you're destroying my zoo. What the hell, man? What the hell? I didn't know you could even do that. A ship of the line roaming around my zoo. My beautiful palace and museum. The ultimate insult, I think. Oh my god, the lighthouse even. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't know you could target that. The defenses will take him down no problem, but jeez. The tourists, yeah, I don't blame them. They just ha had their no more thing popular. assaulted. They must be understaffed. No one sends the porter Your ship has returned from its All right, we're back in the Arctic. We've already taken out the hangar, actually, which is interesting. Oh, it's sad music now. gonna rotate this one out it's pretty damaged god the flamethrower thing is so brutal okay it's gone <laughs> it's so rough that flamethrower thing our ship did make it, barely. It's still getting hit a little bit. Can I can't even shoot his lighthouse. I don't even know how he's able to do that to me. Just one defense left. Then there's the docks. I guess we'll hit the docks. I think it counts towards their island morale. Yeah, it does. And then he has one gun around the other side, which I guess I could have went for first. But we have to go back that way anyway. Alright, circle back around and we'll just go pretty much around to here and we should pretty much attack that automatically, I think. We'll see how that goes. And that should finish that island off. Back to Cape Trelawney. We can head back out Fleet to this place and then we'll circle down to get to this island. 
Okay. Uh, so, we're here in Mbesa. My one fleet, my one airship has arrived, yeah, so that's good. We'll just station at a Tabarim. It's got the uh, sea mines in case we need them. And at the Arctic, have the, yes, the airships have now arrived. They've arrived all the way over this way. Interesting. So, is there anything airship-wise we can deal with? There is here. We don't want to fly too close to his islands, just in case. He's got a very damaged frigate there. I'm not seeing anything else in the terms of... Oh, there's two airships, actually. Let's go for them. Oh, my convoy's in bits. Are you active healing? You're actually not. Maybe we could transfer something that is. This city is a magnet for genius. Workforce okay. shortage. Just transferred one of the captains over to do a little active healing. We're in the presence of a virtuoso. Alright, just queued up an attack there, and airship wise, we are on the hunt. He's got an airship over here as well. Let's go ahead into the Inuit. Don't let them trade. And it'll also be a nice show of force for the Inuit. You look up in the sky and just see what we're capable of. <laughs> Alright. Don't have anything to do in the old world. New world looks clear. I'm seeing one ship out in the middle. One airship. Not too worried about that. Cape Trelawney. We're almost there. We're just passing by this island. And then the Arctic, I guess. Alright, we've started to engage. Re-engage. Told him to move in now. Go for that. Airship's here. We do have two monitors with us. Island critical. Come on, that's got to be it now. There's nothing left for me to attack. He didn't rebuild anything over here. There's nothing left to attack. Hmm. This can happen from time to time. You kind of have to just redo it or come back again. Which sucks. Because it's just putting a delay on things. But whatever, we did take out the airship hangar, which is really the main thing anyway. Alright, so we'll have to leave it and come back. Let's just work our way around to the other islands. Look at you, swagger! Oh, I'm swaggering. Alright, the guys are moving again. Yeah, that sucks. I've had this happen before, and I've kind of looked it up and stuff and people have said yeah some of the small islands like these smallest ones you can bring them down below their thing and they just never give up and but if you try it again a second or third time eventually it will give up but you have to wait for them to recover though which can take a little while but yeah it's a bit lame but it has to be done we can just fast forward it as well if there's really an issue okay so where else are we looking at cape trelawney i guess we should be almost there now moving to coordinates all right, so if we want to go for... Where's the wind facing? The wind's with us this time, actually, which is nice. So we'll just come straight down with the wind along this way, crest around the corner, and start hitting into these. Same kind of deal as we had with the other island. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's just speed up now a bit. He's attacking me, is he? Yeah, he is. How much I can do about that? Uh, we could get the airship from Mbesa just to fly up there real quickly. What's here, actually? A little gunboat. Adjust elevator flap. Load it all into one shaft. Delivering and shaft him. Okay. When I look back, I want to see that gunboat gone. Alright, let's go. No time to lose. I'll just check what's going on in the Arctic really quickly, so... Yep, good. Alright, we'll just circle back around this way, get the airships to go this way as well. And we'll focus on Cape Trelawney. It's got two defenses together there, so we'll fire two cannons on that. Alright, just the one base left to go, and that should be that. I'll have to heal up and then look to go for another island in a moment. To see you, do you will never fully appreciate it. All right, so these guys took a little bit of damage. That fleet ship seems to have been. Is good. Oh, it's actually heading towards us right now. So there's another one. Moving to coordinates. 
Oh, sounds good to me. I'm gonna divide up my ships and go for both. Your people are miserable. Yeah, they're you gonna get away from me. Are they gonna come into my line of fire? Maybe. This ship is super fast. We're going with the wind. We might catch them. We should be faster than them. Eh, they'll probably get away. What about the one in Mbesa? Is it Give gone? It Seems like it's gone. I'm seeing some Your plots, Sam. Miserable. Cape Trelawney, just for a little bit. Alright, looking good. Let's just form back up together. Let's go and heal, and then we'll come back down again. We can slow play the Cape Trelawney. It doesn't really matter too much. So, what about here? You're healing, but very slowly. Can we give them the repair box, maybe? Just get them to go a little quicker. Guns They're the ones blazing. that are super damaged. Perhaps a more elegant arrangement. He defended an island against me. Not really. <laughs> but it means it's ready to go again. But we'll wait, we'll come back in a bit. Uh, okay, let's just transfer that over to another thing. There we go. Alright, let's go. Next island over is a really, really small one, this one. So hopefully we can capture it. Just going to speed up time now a little bit. Let's just check our various theaters. The old world looking okay. New world, pretty much empty. Trelawney, we should be back to heal momentarily. Ships are just en route now. Stations. Tell them to group up if they can. And then and base is empty and here we are here. Okay. All right, let's go. What kind of defenses you got? Three depots, one gun, just one gun. It's one gun and a base, that's it. Wow, okay. Hasn't been doing too hot over here, I guess. All right, let's just speed it up then. This should be a really quick one. Go for the gun first. Again, this could be another situation where we can't capture it. If there's ever an issue where we can't capture it, we could always buy it out in the long run. Just really quickly, we're tracking this guy here. So I actually can't take glaciers. I thought you could come over and just bomb them, but apparently you can't. They just can't be captured in any other way apart from buying shares, from what I know. Which I think is crazy, but it's apparently true. Fleet awaiting orders. All right, so again, same problem here, where we've lowered it below where it needs to go. From its that sucks, man. That's such an annoying problem. But anyway, let's just keep moving. There's a battleship here as well. Okay. Alright, well, the fleet's heading off to the next island now. Hopefully we can at least take this one and take the other one in the distance. Then maybe I'll speed up time in between as we get back to the island to try it again. Uh, let's go this way, actually. Alright, might as well speed up time now. Is this fleet back here yet? Almost. 37 influence. There's a new newspaper gone. Why did we get back 50 influence? Nobody died. I didn't lose any islands, did I? Let's just check in base. And base is fine. The new world's fine. We do have a little frigate out here. I'll chase it down to my flagship just to see if we could do it. Seeing as it is pretty damaged. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything that I've lost. So I assume... I don't know where that influence came from. But we're after getting a boost of 50 from something. These are after very slowly cresting that corner. All right, so. Moving to coordinates. Let's speed it up. Fleet on the move. Two defenses. Let's go for the defenses first. I'm not going to use any special abilities with this one. My theory is that if we just whittle it down, maybe we'll do better that way? I don't know. 
works. Maybe it was the special abilities chunk it down or something and confuse it. I have no idea, like but that went you. We'll that went much better. All right, we've got one more island to go up on this side, and then it's just now the other two left. Again, he's got an airship moving, moving over to the Inuit. We're gonna intercept. A fire broke out. Oh, he just, he's flying off into the storm. Oh my god. I can see its shadow, but I don't know where. There we go, there we go. I can't even click it. Uh, I'm right clicking. There we go. Okay, got it. The fleet is pretty damaged, but it's doing okay. <laughs> It'll be fine. I don't think we're going to lose anything. All right, just a little island up there to go. A speed of time. Cape Trelawney. How are we doing for heals? This one's taking a while to heal, but it's important because I don't want to lose any ships. So we got to take our time with it. Slow play it. All right, let's circle in. I'll just send any away that are taking too much damage. So what has he got? Three defenses total. Damn, again with this weird situation. Island morale, 28%. This has happened for three islands now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And just for those wondering, yeah, you can fire at these things. It doesn't do anything. You know, like it's not changing anything. Can't attack anything else. And he's got no other defenses. I don't know what to do. But it is what it is. I mean, we just have to keep coming back and forth to them, I guess. But that doesn't make for very fun viewing, so maybe I'll cut out g revisiting these or something. Fleet embarking. All right, that worked that time. So we just revisited this island, basically, and we've been able to take it. So I'm just going to go back up to the other one <laughs> one more time, see if we can get it. All right, it worked like that time as well. We'll never fully appreciate it. I don't know if I did it last time, but it seems like to get it to work, I maybe make sure you don't islands. attack the docks until last. Because it seems like destroying the main harbor Work will lower it below the flag threshold. And then you can go for the um, docks just to like make sure it goes all the way, you know? Maybe. I, I don't know. Anyway, right, we're moving back down, back to King William Please Island. And then we're going to crest around to the final island here in the Arctic that we can actually take, which is Zephyrus 2. It looks like he's rebuilding his airship hangar. He's got a foundation for it, so we want to take that out, prevent him getting his airships back. Yes, we did it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the entire Arctic dealt with. Now he just has a tiny little gunboat heading towards us. Again, they haven't gotten the word yet about what's happened. We're going to head to the I New World with our airships items. so that we can go pick up those bombs. Individual, please, just go chase him down. Are we going to get... He's going with the wind. Lucky. SOB. All right. Cape Trelawney, how are we doing? We should be actually back up and healed now. No, no, not yet. God, these guys are slow. But when you have a sailing ship that's damaged and you're going against the wind, I guess that's the way it goes. He's got a few airships around here. His biggest island now, this is where he makes some of his ships. I don't think he's making any airships here, though, in the old world. Or in Cape Trelawney. This will require a bigger fleet to go take these out, I think, before we um, smash into the old world itself. And Utopia. All right, meanwhile in the new world, we've arrived and uh, we can start loading up with bombs. How many bombs do we have? 370. 369, Ready that's what it said. One. All right, so let's take, I don't know, 50 in each airship. 
Alrighty, just to do a little bit of a recap, a little bit of time has passed. I'm moving the Arctic fleet now down into the Old World. The damaged ones are coming first, and then the, the non-damaged ones are coming just behind them. them. Couldn't defeat an island of me. Get used the to it, Arthur. Had to come down. Um, our airships, with all of their bombs and everything, are here, ready to go. Um, so they're all on hotkey 4. These are all our ships here, so we should see the rest of them coming in now, and they've been told to arrive at Lusk. Uh, just to do a quick overview, the New World looking still clear. He's got a couple little things here on the edge, but I'm not too worried. It's one ship of the line right now. It's not too bad. Um, we could come in with this guy from Mbesa and try to bomb it, actually just to make sure it doesn't do anything. So maybe worth doing. If we go to Estepona, we should hit there. Uh, in fact, we can hit them with two, because we've got a smaller airship here that's not going to be doing anything either. So we'll tell them to go to the same place. So from S to Estepona. There we go. So those two guys are going to be off. All right, our damaged ships are coming back in. Actually kind of lucky, because they're passing right by one of his islands there. He's got a decent-sized fleet over on this island here. This is on the far eastern side of the Old World. Other than that, everything's fine. Sit there and heal, please. Get your heals. Your ship has returned from its voyage. But we are almost ready for this combat now. Almost ready. Hey, we're actually your positive influence. Oh, that's because of the newspaper. Voyage. We've turned off the attack speed thing. It's actually, probably not a great idea, but... We'll your call in another battleship then as well. Why not? Our blue flame monitors are all gone. I don't know where they went. <laughs> right, these guys. They're all one group to me now. Battle group three, please. All right, we'll just speed up time, let them do the thing, and then we'll send them out. We'll just take this little island first, and then maybe this one, and then we'll push into the big buoy. Uh, because these are a bit more important. We might do a bombing run over this one first, actually, Where as well. Are my muses when I need them? Your ship has returned That's from its... How much more to go? they got about 3,000 hit points left to go before they're good to move out. Uh, well, while you're waiting, actually, all of you guys can go first and take this smaller island. Not too worried about that. I... And my critics say I don't take enough risks. Yeah, he keeps buying shares of this island, so just make sure to buy it back. <laughs> just in case. Not too worried about it, though. Alrighty, back to the old world. Money has come all the way back up. We're positive. People have come back point. as well. Even though I haven't done anything. It's interesting, because we went all the way down to like 90,000, I think, at one point. But I haven't actually recruited any new ships. Speaking of new ships, after this one... Oh, and power is stopped here. Yeah, oil is a problem, actually. Uh, once the oil delivery gets made, though, it'll be it'll be okay. There are ships still delivering oil. Um, but really what we need is another oil tanker and then probably a bunch more cargo ships to just be ready to take over the missing slots. Alright, let's brighten up the day. 6 a.m. Gonna put it on double speed. This guy is a, a little bit weak. Are you gonna be okay? He's gonna be okay. He's going to be just fine, everybody. <laughs> Alright, we got it. No problem at all. Alright, guys, you can go back and heal up now. Alright, we'll just speed up time, let these guys get healed, and get ready to move out again. Alrighty, we're pretty much just outside his base now. I'm just having a look really quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six guns, and the Count base itself. Must be ignorance. All right, we're going to come in for are again. a bombing run draw. here and there. And then where's the wind going? The wind's going that way, so we'll just try settlement. to pull out to the right. Do the same with this one. Delivering payload. And pull out to the right. And then get pretty much the rest of these ships can just go forward now as well. They're a little bit further behind, but hopefully they'll make it in time. Now, is he going to shoot these down badly? There's a couple of mounted guns. Uh, oh no, there's only one flak... No, two flak guns. Two flak guns. I'm confident, though. We'll be okay, right? Oh, 
Just make sure you do your thing and then get the hell out of there. Keep it away from my sculptures. Oh my god, they're so powerful. Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I had no idea it was going to be that powerful. Well, there's barely anything left for us to do. Bombs OP. How much did they use? Oh, they used 50. Okay, that's probably my bad then. <laughs> I'm guessing there's more defenses to this island, maybe. The there's some over on that side. Down. He's still destroying my buildings every now and then. It's not on this island, it must be somewhere else that he did it. Fleet, on point. All right, just destroy these two docks and then we'll move back over and see what we'll do this. Although we might win even now. Oh my god, we're attacking his... What is that? We're attacking the hospital? Why is that a building that you can target? I'm still gonna target it, but like, why? Jeez. Is it even taking damage? And now we're targeting the... Oh my god, there's riots and everything. It's all breaking down. All right, good. Let's uh, head around here, and then we'll go for that. So those airships are super powerful. They're going to do excellent Work damage against Arthur's main island. Um, but we need a little bit of time just to finish off the rest of that, and then we're going to move over to the big one. Our other ship should have basically healed Clear up by now. Stations. Yep. It's all good to go. Send it to join its friends. These are basically full health, so that's fine. You can't drop bombs on the on the actual city, by the way. Just for those who are wondering. I say it as if we aren't all thinking it, right? Am I right, boys and girls? Bop. You guys can get healed again. All right, everyone back to work. Cool. Looking good. Uh, anything else for us to do? Maybe pick up the rest of the bombs that we've made and put them back on the ships that are kind of empty. So how many is made now? Oh my god, 122 again. Wow. Engaging yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go pick them up, I guess. And um, we'll re restock the ones that we just spent. So we just spent 50. So let's grab 50. Ready and the other airship orders. is here now. I'll just grab 50. And then we'll just send these guys to the old world. They should be get there pretty quickly. Send them to Lusk to be safe. Once they get there, then, uh, yeah, we'll restock the airships and we'll go in for the big island. But in the meantime, we're still hitting the small one. Oh, there we go. Got I'd it. Like to see you do it. Holy crap. What just happened to the money? I have you no idea. Will never fully appreciate it. Royal taxes, maybe? Could be. I see you're exploring yet more islands. Zero influence. Attention all right. To the Admiral. These guys are all together now. So we'll just get in position over here. What's your range? I suppose just because we're here, we'll go for this one first. Battle deck to attention. All right, good. They're dividing up a little bit more evenly. Get our airships in position. We'll just speed up time. We should be just waiting now on the airships to come across so they're there. So once they get to the old world, we should be good to go. Alrighty, so our airships have just arrived. And we're basically in position now. I'm just dropping off that 50 bombs that we just picked up. The other guy's coming up in a second with his other 50. Just for this guy. So then they'll all have 75. They can do a major, major bombing run then. Ready for action. Now, that was really powerful. I don't want to send them all in at once. I feel like it's probably best to send them in just like one or two at a time. I guess it depends on the defenses. But uh, we're just about getting ready to go. That battleship is just spinning round, man. Stations. Can we maybe just take some shots at him real quickly? Where are my trying to lay out my guys kind of evenly. All right, I'd say let's get going forward. On point. And we'll come in for the bombing run. Well, not with everyone. <laughs> Let's just get you. You can come in first. Bombing run. Here and there. 
and then go with the winds and just fly over that way if you can. Alright, the first bombs are out. Second bombs are coming in now. Alright, looking good. These guys can come back now and heal. Oh my god, I totally forgot about the Big Bass. Or Big Betty. I just assumed it was down. It's just sitting there. It didn't actually do too bad to me. I'm so, so surprised with that. The way we're cluttered up, clustered up, like that we didn't take more of a hit. I feel like I got kind of lucky with that. Alright, we have three ships here all loaded with bombs. So start making our way around the, the right side. We'll hit that and then we'll come into the bay as the fight as the finale. Are they in a group together? They are. Alright, so our other guys have just come down here to heal. Give us a heading. And yeah, we are totally out of power here. There should be oil still heading here. Oh man, since uh, changing this, I don't really remember who comes in here, but yeah, that's oil right there. And they drop oil into Lusk, so it should have just happened, actually. Oh, it has. Yeah, yeah, They have power now again. Oh, no, they don't. No, they don't. Where are my muses when I need them? They're just waiting on the trains. They must have just gotten it, though. They couldn't Your defeat an island of mine. Are starting to get sick. I'll stop. All right, I'll solve that oil problem the another fire. time. That's I think I just need another oil behind. tanker, actually. But yeah, maybe uh, see if we can make one now, then. Because the production of oil hasn't slowed, I don't think. Alright guys, keep going. Go this way. Fleet awaiting orders. Well, really, we can approach from any angle with the airship, so we'll just circle around the actual hill, or the mountain this way. And then we'll cut in sharply across that way. Am I missing a, a battleship? I think I did lose a battleship because there's a few items that I'm usually used to seeing that I'm not seeing anymore, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'd have to count it up. Aye. Normally we have the guy with the hat that we can like heal as an item, but maybe we lost him. Could that be it? It's tempting. Let's just fly over with these guys and see what we've dropped here. Anyway, let's just keep uh, keep going anyways. Right, so we're going to go for a bombing run while our guys are moving. So we have Big Bess right there. The wind is going with us, Open so we'll just hatch. land here and here and just keep, just fly out then. And then you go a little Again further up, I guess. All right, the bombs are out. Keep it away from my sculptures. Holy fucking god. Stop it for a second. You just stop. You can do better than that. Drop it there and there. Here you go. Target Big Vest, please. With everything you got. Big Betty. All right, good. Easy enough. Where did that other airship go, by the way? <laughs> there it is. He's dropping propaganda on me. I've seen him do it twice now. Fleet ready. These guys have no power either. Um, we've dropped below 100,000 population. Bullseye. 
So what did I pick up, I guess, as this guy? Adjust Nothing. Elevator flap. I'm just curious if I lost a battleship, because I feel like I'm missing an item that I had before to in this Stations. kind of like roster of items. Anyway, the island's almost done. We just have to circle around one last time now and come straight into the bay. And we still have some battleships or some um, airships that can come in and do a nice big attack. We're going to hover over the mountain for now and then come sweeping in. Fleet awaiting orders. All right, it's almost GG for Arthur, at least for his capital. Of course, there's still a few little remnant islands left to go. And then we can divide everything up to Benti. Between Benti and ourselves. Fleet embarking. Open the hatch! Alright, I'm giving the order for these guys to just go forward now. Alright, here we go. The big fleet's coming in. Fleet en route. Keep it away and that is the salvo. opening salvo. And this is the secondary follow-up salvo. That's all our bombs then. We are out. And that's it. I'd like to see you GG, Arthur. That is Utopia. You will never Absolutely wiped clean. I can feel my frame rate getting better. <laughs> Goddamn. Alright, do we have any bombs left, by the way? Uh, no. We used them all. Oh, no. These guys have 25. All right, that's going to be GG. I'll just tab up for a second. All right, just want to change the music. So we've got two, three islands left to go here in the old world. And then it's a matter of buying his shares in the Arctic to finally kill him totally. Oh, he's actually settled on another Arctic island. That's annoying. It's going to take us uh, even longer than to get everything we need. Across your city. But it should be okay. But we'll be doing that in the next few episodes. But basically, Cape Trelawney, he's got two islands. And the Old World, he's got three. So let's just keep up uh, keep up the attack in the Old World, at least. Workforce We're cresting around now to our Docklands where we can heal. These guys can just throw that overboard. Yeah, I don't know if I lost anything or not. What about the New World? Has he got anything here? He has a ship of the line kind of moving around. Not too worried about it. What else does he have? He has another ship there. A frigate and a ship of the line. He's after hitting Marbella. Ah, this is why we've got oil problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, once we're done with the old world, though, we can come back here and deal with that. But I'm sure... I mean, really, if we just take out enough ships, he's going to be gone anyway. Alright, let's just speed up time. We'll heal everyone. I'm just going to keep it on triple speed now, just to get the job done. I don't think he's going to be taking anything back from me. It doesn't seem to have anything strong enough. And Utopia obviously is going to hold out for at least 30 minutes. So it's going to be totally fine. Fleet en route. The airships are not really too sure what to do with them. I suppose we could send them to the New World. Although he might still have some here. I guess we'll wait and see. Alright, these guys are just healing effectively. Let's grab you, you, you. miserable. You and you. I'm going to send the ones that aren't damaged down here. We should be able to do a good job. Got 25 bombs to come with us as well, so we can just do a quick bombing run in that place before we wrap it up. Battle deck to attention. No, I actually don't think... Yeah, there's a couple of repair cranes over that way. Alright, we're basically in position to start firing on them here and open up. Those bombs are devastating. I can't believe how effective they were. Which way is the wind going? It's going we're against us, so we'll of a just come down here, move to the side, and then we'll come up with the bombing run. Victor Perfecto. What a great name. Stations. Alright, we're coming in with the battleships on the left side and with the bombing run on the right side. Delivering payload. Keep it away from my side. 
Alright, that should be basically this one done. Although, I don't know if he has defenses on another side. No, it doesn't look like it, actually. Is the repair crane done? The depot done? The harbor done. See you later! Nailed it. Two more to go. No more bombs, though, or battleships. He's got basically no airships left, of course, because we took out his airship hangar. And I don't think he's got a new one. Right, just going to move the airships back. All right, cool. There's not much left to do other than figure out the this uh, oil problem. I guess that's a problem in the new world. These guys can head to the new world, and maybe we can get them some sea mines made just to deal with what the what those few ships that are roaming around. So if I change this now to sea mines, we made enough bombs, I think. Alright, our ships have basically come together. There's just a small little the island fire. here, Flanur, too. Behind. We are bleeding money now, severely. <laughs> Fleet, prepare to fire. Alrighty, that is GG. There is just like one island left. Ambitious with it. One island left to go. You will never fully appreciate it. One sailing shipyard. He even has a steam shipyard here and everything. Now you've got bastard. more islands than me. Don't worry, Bente. I'm going to give you loads of islands. You're going to be living life. Your ship has returned from its. Alright, one island left here in the old world. Two in Cape Trelawney, and technically two in the Arctic, but they are glaciers. Be interesting if he just got removed off the glaciers if we destroy all those land-based islands. All right, let's come swimming on in. Go for the bigger guns first, please. Alright, that one fell before the white flag even got hit, so see you later. And that's the old world done. I see you're exploring yet more islands. So this fleet has to move on to Cape Trelawney now in order to take out the final two islands. You know what, I think we can get it done this episode. With some with some light editing, I think it can be done. Alright man, there's really not much left to go. Just that ship, is it? No, it's the gunboat. Leave the gunboat alone. Gunboat lives matter. Alright, let's uh deselect that guy, head off to Cape Trelawney, get to Crown Farms, please. Have to do our best. You could just stay here. Just heal. Alright, I'm good speed of time. We got our um oil tanker. I don't know if I actually need it though. Because I didn't realize that the reason that we weren't producing oil was just purely because he had destroyed the harbor here. Interestingly, he hasn't destroyed it now. Um, so yeah, so let's fly up to Manola, pick up those sea mines. This guy still has sea mines, so we're just gonna fly over, do a drop on this one. Workforce shortage. Open the bay doors. All right, do a drop on that. What's he got? He's got a ship of the line and a frigate. How's Embasa doing? Base is fine. It's based. Uh, yep. 
everything's looking good. He's got one airship in the Arctic. Totally fine. So it's just here then. And we have our old fleet here as well. So we're going to speed up time. Our... Whoa. Oh, you can select some of the old wreckage. From Vasco Oliveira's time, I guess. Actually, I think it's the time before that, thinking about it. Also, they should have gotten their steel now. At least you're a yep. bit rough around the fringes. Look at you, All right, swagger. once these guys... <clears throat> Once these guys heal, we can kind of sail back down south. In fact, some of them are carrying things that they don't need anymore. Yeah, let's just get rid of those. Fleet on the move. All right, sailing ships are going to be kind of slow, so I'm moving them down. So this is the second to last island that we're going to be going for. With time sped up, we'll just have a look at where our ships are. There's nine on the move. I assume these are the battleships that are going to be moving now. How's our one battleship doing? He's okay. This one's Speedy Gonzalez as well. Movement speed 20%, movement speed 25%, cargo slowdown non-existent, and then movement speed 15%. So it's going to be moving very fast. He should almost be able to catch up to the other ones. Now that he's healed. Alright, let's begin. Put it on double speed. We really need to fire these things off on big groups if we can. Well, that ship got burned like crazy. Kind of to be expected, though. It is a wooden ship. These things are fairly fragile. Pick up what we lost. You can even fire that if you want. Attention for the Admiral. All right, so the island has been opened up as its first point Aye. of attack. We lost the ship. I don't think the... Did we pick up every item? Maybe it only had two items on it. Fleet awaiting orders. All right, so we'll just stay here. We've begun the attack, but I'm going to wait for the other fleet to get here. They're a little far away right now. They're all the way over there. My therapist says money matters dominate middle age. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Engines underway. All right, we got two minutes to continue the attack. We're pretty much right here, right now. So <clears throat> let's everyone come in together. Whoa, the speed of that! The seas are pulling out ahead. Moving to coordinates. Where are my muses when I need them? Let's go! <laughs> the music. Let me just slow it down a bit. Couldn't even see those defenses in there, but they're all there. Feels like slow motion now when you slow things back down. That should be Colossus 2, pretty much done. And keep the momentum going and get to the final island. I'd like to see you do and you will never fully appreciate it. I suppose expansion. Alright, we just got one island left to go. He's frantically building on it. As we can see, that's awesome. And he has, uh, he actually, does he have a sailing shipyard? I actually don't think he does. That I can see. Not yet. So technically, I don't think he can make any more ships. He's got two ship of the lines left. Moving to coordinates. And this is his final island. Final island of the game. Apart from the two glaciers he has in the Arctic. Which I think we just have to buy their shares. So over the next couple of episodes, maybe the next episode total, um, we're going to be like eliminating him from the Stations. game, I guess. 
it will be interesting to keep him locked onto those islands, because as far as I know, he won't be able to build anything. He can't build airships even. So, if people want me to leave him isolated on the on the glaciers, they could do. I'd kind of like to just remove him, because he could buy shares from Benty and somehow regain an island or something, you know? It'd be a pain in the ass. <laughs> He's running away from me like the coward he is. Uh, let's just speed it up a little bit. We're in the presence of a virtuoso. Attention to the Admiral. Oh, his airships here and everything. Go for the flames. Quintessensk. This is end game. It's been a hell of a journey, guys. Not wrapping up the series just yet, but we're getting pretty close. Couple defenses in his lighthouses around that side. Firing it over. you do anything ambitious with it. You will never fully appreciate it. Amazing, you know what to do with them all. Moment of silence for Arthur. I mean, that is his final land-based island. He has an airship there, just totally perplexed about what to do. One battleship remaining. Move our fleet towards it. Then he's got a couple airships there. If we check the Arctic, all I know that he has left are these. Topolopoli and Zephyrus. Nothing going on on that one. This one, he has a regular trading post, but he can't make airships here. As far as I know, if we just do it once over, he has got nothing in the old world. No islands. We have Benty's Island back. New World, he has a few ships just hanging on the edges. Cape Trelawney, we've just cleared it. We've just seen what it has. The Arctic, same story, two glaciers. And Embesa, one ship hanging here. So what I'm probably going to do is in between episodes, chase around some of these final little ships. And then... Uh, in the next episode, I think we'll just release a bunch of these islands and I'll try to figure out what's missing and rebuild. Because we need to release the islands to get our influence back. And when we get the influence back, we can then start the buyout purchasing of Topolopoli 2. And here. 10 influence. So we need 60 influence for each island. 10 minutes for each one. And that'll be it. So that's going to be it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This has been The War with Arthur. Basically over now. And we have the In the Name of the Tsar music for him as well, which is kind of nice. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Consider liking it if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and if you want to support even further, consider becoming a channel member. Channel members get early access to my videos ad-free, and also access to my Discord, where we've just set up a new Valheim and Satisfactory server for people to play on. Hopefully we can grow a community and add more games and perks in the future. Either way, I appreciate people just watching this far into the video. Thank you.